make a wish, and take a bite. Well, they do say that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Well, it turns out that apples already have a spooky secret to them. You might not even need any evil queens trying to kill you to get a poison apple because, well, apples already have a natural poison in them. Stone fruits are fruits with seeds and pits in them like apricots, peaches, plums, cherries, and apples contain a naturally occurring compound called amygdalin. Well, amygdalin is a cyanide and sugar-based molecule, so when it is chewed and broken down, you can imagine it like a glow stick where everything mixes up together to create a reaction. The sugar part of the amygdalin is broken down and destroyed, leaving behind only hydrogen cyanide, a poison, a real-life Snow White poison apple. <laughs> Amygdalin is present in many fruits because it acts as a natural pesticide. Well, cyanide toxicity prevents cells from using oxygen. The actual mechanism is the molecular form of like asphyxiation to um, anybody that ingests it, all the way down from insects to humans. Cyanide toxicity in humans hits at around 0.5 to 3 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. But no worries, again you would really have to chew and like munch on that pit to really make anything fatal. Um, when we're talking about like something like apples, it's about 18 apples. So if you're ever making a smoothie or blenderizing fruits, it's recommended to not include the seeds or pits. So unless you're destroying your blender by throwing in entire pits or eating a whole bag of apples, you are totally fine and you do not need to worry about being poisoned. But maybe hold off on taking food from strangers. And the CDC said that only 1 in 10 adults reached a federal fruit and vegetable serving recommendation of around 2 cups. So eating fruits and vegetables is still really important. <gasps> Maybe I can go pick some more apples to make a pie for Grumpy!